Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> it even had the startup sound. <laughs> this is so nostalgic. So we have a Windows <laughs> terminal, but it has the Linux file system. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this so much already. Do we have Winamp here? What's up guys, recently I discovered this project on GitHub Blue95, which is a desktop for your childhood home's computer room. So this is Windows 95 that's going to be running on Linux. I'm so excited about this. I, <laughs> I, I really want to try this out. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> it even has the startup screen. Oh, I'm loving this already. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it even had the startup sound. <laughs> oh my God, this is so nostalgic. Windows 95, look at this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the start menu. Oh my God, I'm getting so much nostalgic f feelings here. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay, so the sounds, the, the, the visuals, it's all here, but it is still Linux, I supposedly. So. Let's just open our terminal here. Yeah, here we go. So we have a Windows <laughs> terminal, but it has the Linux file system. So if I do, if I go to root, then we just have our normal Unix <laughs> file system here. But I'm actually running it in Windows 95. Well, it's not actually Windows 95, but it looks like Windows 95. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this so much already. Okay, so let's close the terminal emulator. Let's see if we can navigate our settings here. Settings, display, that's it. Okay, so we're at 800 times 600. So let's bring that up. Well, no, not to 2K. Uh, let's bring that up a notch, apply. Yeah, okay, so this looks a little bit better. Like I'm not gonna do full HD, but now we have some better proportions here. Okay, so <laughs> let, what, what are we gonna do? What, this is so much fun. So let's just try out the web browser. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this, <laughs> this sound came through when I, <laughs> when I started this. Okay, uh, let's try. <laughs> no, no I, let's, let's not do it and let's see if... <laughs> Windows 95, I was five years old at this point. And this is also when our, the first computers were starting to be get, get common, at least in the Netherlands. So when I was five years old, I was actually using Windows 95 as a kid. I was actually doing, um, w using paint all the time and to like color and create things. And I would play games on here as well. So this feels so familiar to me. It feels so like these these visuals, it is it is resonating a lot with me again. So but it's it's a fully fledged web browser. Look, I don't even know what browser this is. It's Pale Moon. I have no idea what that actually is. So let's just Google that. Let's just try. Okay. Pale moon browser let's just check out what that is about the pale moon project it's an open source guana based web browser available for various operating systems including Microsoft. okay so i had no idea this existed so this is a very retro looking browser and it has these windows icons on the top here as well but do we also have firefox for example no it doesn't Okay, so we we can browse the web. We can go to YouTube even. Let me see. 
let's search for Linux. Let's just see if, if videos are going to be working in this browser. Full Linux course. Sentry just rolled out uptime monitoring. I'm going to take it for a spin and show you okay. how it works. To get started, we'll jump into alerts. No. So that was an ad, but it I can definitely watch videos here, apparently. So, okay, I can browse the web. I can I can do that. So let's let's do something different then. So I'm a NeoVim user, of course. So let's just try if we can install NeoVim. So which Vim? User bin Vim is here. Which NeoVim? NeoVim is is NeoVim already here? NVim? Yes, NVim is already here. Oh my god. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's check out, let, let's see if we can then install LazyVim then from our browser. So LazyVim here, getting started. And let's check it out. So installation, clone the starter. There we go. Git is already installed. So if I now do NVim, then LazyVim is going to set itself up. Okay, looking good. Wow, this is amazing. So I could actually have a fully functional Linux environment with Windows 95. <laughs> with Windows 95 uh, appearances. And I can, this is just a fully functional terminal. Look, and if I have Tmux, if I, so if I would go here, if I have NVim open here, and here I would have, wow, it even has BTOP installed? Wow. Okay, so this is looking very promising. I, I mean, imagine showing up to work <laughs> with your laptop and you're, running, and you're running this. I mean, oh my God, how cool would that be? <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Okay, so graphics. Let's see if we have paint, Windows paint. No, we don't have paint. That's that's a bummer. Okay. Uh I was I was really hoping for that. But we do have Inkscape though. Okay, so this is then a, a Linux program that is then using paint. So it, it's not the old paint. That's a real shame. That would be really cool to have a port of the old fashioned paint in here. Um so next thing we have our terminal, we have lazy vim. What, what else can we do? So here is something. Let's check out the programs that, that come with it. So we have this, this really cool old style accessories. Um, here we have Mousepad, NeoVim. Let's see, Mousepad, what is that? Look at that, that's in the exact same old notepad with the, with the old styling and everything. Oh, this, it, it feels so home and, and comfy to me. Okay, so we have Notepad. What else do we have? We have some games. K-Mines, so Minesweeper. Wow, already lost. And lost again. Well, there you go. That's how good I am at that game. So we have Minesweeper. What do we have? Audacious. Wow, is that is that the Winamp logo? Do we have Winamp here? Seriously? Like I'm having nostalgic overload here. Look at that. We even have Winamp. How cool is that? And it even comes with a with an MP3. <laughs> Guys, I like I I I think I'm going to switch to this. Like <laughs> how about daily driving this? How cool would that be? This is so awesome. Like I'm actually I'm 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 going to do like full YouTube videos editing in this environment. Imagine the reactions. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so we have this. We have all of we have our Winamp, so if I would have some music, I could have this playing here and still have my Winamp experience. So 
what does it look like if we install a, for example, VS Code? So, or Todoist or something like that. So here, then I, I suppose we are using RPM. If we can get Todoist running. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> okay. So Todoist Linux. To do is for Linux. And we can download it using an app image. Save. And let's see if it will open it directly. No, it won't do that. So let's see. We have our downloads directory. And here is our to doist. So if I then just to doist, oh, I probably have to schmalt exit. Here we go. So here, Todoist won't be able to log in until you set up desktop integration for it. Okay. Ah, here we go. So here is our Todoist, and then I will have to log in. Okay, well, that's okay. But at least we, s we see how, how this would work. They recommend starting uh, with a base image and then reboot, re rebase that to a different one. So this WinBlues Vox site, I already have that downloaded. And I'm going to be using VirtualBox for this. Nice and easy. I will do a new virtual machine. And let's call this Windows 95. And for the ISO, I am going to use Vox site base latest ISO that I have downloaded. So let me see, unattended install. Let me see, I'm just gonna use this to password, password like that. Okay, host name, Windows 95. Let's do this to Misha, or no, let's do Win95 like that, okay? So that should be it. And um, for the hardware, I'm gonna give it about, let's say eight gigs of memory and four CPUs. All right, here we go. So let's finish and start this up. Point it to the ISO again, and here we go. So in, for the view, I'm going to have this to scaled switch and install, let's install Voxite gonna go straight into the install. Okay, we have a GUI installer. This looks fairly straightforward. Let's just pick our language. Destination, automatic partitioning, a root account. Let's create one. going to use a very secret password called password and for user creation let's do Misha and also here we go so let's have then we have a user so this looks all very familiar and straightforward so let's just begin this installation and now it's just going to create our Linux installation okay so this installation is now complete so I will reboot this and when it is rebooted, we can do this rebasing. So what we have installed now is just some, it's just a basic Fedora image with a graphical interface, apparently. So, so this is just a plain Fedora environment where I have my terminal and my browser. So now what I can do is I can just copy this command from the install guide and enter this in my terminal and this should then start installing our Windows 95 environment. Okay, so it has quite a few layers to do, so let's check in a little bit later. Okay, so we have now finished our install here, so I will just reboot the image, and when that's done, we should be entering our Windows 95 environment. <laughs> Well, there you have it. So this is um, <laughs> this has been a lot of fun just to try this out. And I actually 
I, I'm actually considering to just keep this on my system and maybe when I'm doing a video call or something, I will just start running <laughs> or do my coding inside here. And that's definitely going to be a fun joke to pull. So this has been fun. And if you like this kind of stuff, you can jump into my free community. It's completely for free. It's available at school.com slash Misha and, and it's apparently also available from within Windows 95. So here you can um, interact with me, make some friends, ask questions. It's a great place to hang out and we're over 6,000 members now. So make sure to jump in if you like this kind of stuff. It's for free. So thanks guys. See you in the next one and hope you have a good day.